Welcome to Base Operations Training. During this exercise, we will cover base construction, how to capture territory, and how to build defenses. Our headquarters is located in this farmhouse. The HQ is your most crucial structure. With it, you call in reinforcements and off-map support. First, let's deploy an engineer squad. To do this requires resources. As you can see on your taskbar, you have no resources. For training purposes, we'll give you enough resources to get started, but normally you earn resources by capturing territory sectors. We'll explore this later. There are three types of resources in Company of Heroes, manpower, munitions, and fuel. Manpower is your primary resource. You spend manpower to deploy squads and vehicles, to deploy an engineer squad, select the HQ now. Left click on the flashing button in the command panel to deploy a squad of engineers. Notice the help text shows you how much manpower the engineer squad costs. Engineers are your basic construction squad. They can build defenses and base structures. Your engineers are ready for duty. Let's begin construction of a barracks. First, select your engineers. Left-click the flashing button to access your base building options. To build a barracks, left-click the flashing button and then left-click at the indicated location to order your engineers to begin construction. Base structures can only be built near the HQ and on open ground. If the build preview turns red, you cannot build at that location. Got Good. Barracks the barracks allows you to deploy basic infantry troops to the battlefield and upgrade your squads. Time to call in a rifleman squad. Select your barracks. Now, left click on the rifleman button. Again, Notice that you have spent manpower to deploy the Rifleman Squad. The Rifleman Squad is now displayed in the build queue. You can cancel any item in the queue by left-clicking on it. Rally points can be set by using the Rally Point icon. And then, newly deployed squads will automatically move to that location. You've spent all of your resources. We'll now show you how to earn more. Remember, there are three types of resources in Company of Heroes manpower, munitions, and fuel. Let's start with manpower. A constant stream of manpower is generated from your headquarters and from the total number of territory sectors you control. The first number in the highlighted area shows the total amount of manpower you currently have. The second number shows how much manpower you are earning per minute. Munitions is the second resource. You spend munitions to upgrade your squads and use special abilities like throwing grenades. A constant stream of munitions is generated by capturing munitions sectors such as this one. Fuel is the final resource and is spent to deploy heavy vehicles, base structures and to purchase global upgrades. A constant stream of fuel is generated by capturing fuel sectors like this one. The mini-map shows the location of all resource points. To get a more detailed view of the battlefield, click on the flashing button to bring up the tactical map. This is the tactical map. The battlefield is divided up into a number of territory sectors. Each sector has an icon which represents the location of the strategic point and the type of resource it provides. The more sectors you control, the more manpower you will receive. To return to the game view, click on the exit button and we'll capture a sector. Select your rifleman squad. Fall right in, click rifleman. on the munitions point to capture it. Right click on the munitions point. Good. You've captured the point, and now you control the territory sector. 
As you can see on the mini-map, the sector is now blue, indicating it is Allied territory. However, the sector is also flashing. This means it is out of supply and you are not receiving resources from it. Bring up the tactical map to get a better understanding of supply lines. The munitions sector you've just captured is here. As you can see, it's not connected to your HQ sector here. This means it is out of supply. Out of supply territories do not generate any resources. To bring the munitions sector into supply, you need to capture this connecting sector. Double click on the strategic point symbol to zoom in on that location. Sometimes the enemy will be defending strategic points. Eliminate the enemy, then capture the strategic point. Sometimes the enemy will be defending strategic points. Eliminate the enemy, then capture the strategic point. We've got Excellent. the point! Strategic points are vital in establishing your front lines and territory. Now, let's return to the munition sector. The munition sector is now in supply and generating a constant stream of resources. The resources a sector generates is indicated on its icon. Notice this matches your current munitions rate on the taskbar. Now, we need to secure the munitions sector to increase your munitions intake and make it harder for the enemy to capture. Now click on the flashing Field Defenses button on the command panel. Left click on the Observation Post button and then left click on the munitions point. They said the army would be an easy paycheck. Damn assholes! And now that the observation post is complete, the sector is secure. Notice that your munitions rate has increased. More importantly, the enemy will need to destroy your observation post before they can capture your sector. This area is crawling with German patrols. Time to defend our front lines. Select your engineer squad. Shake it click on the flashing field emplacements button. Left click on the MG emplacement button and then position it by left clicking on the indicated location. Finally, Set the facing of the MG emplacement to cover... We need an MG nest in there! That's it! Excellent. Construction finished! Enemy incoming! The MG emplacement will automatically engage. Fantastic! MG emplacement is suppressing the enemy troops. They're retreating. However, the Germans know we're here now, and they'll be back with more troops. We need to fortify our position. In Company of Heroes, you can garrison local buildings which provide excellent cover for squads during combat. Order the engineers to garrison the nearby building by right-clicking on it. All up in there. Good. Buildings can also be upgraded into a forward barracks, allowing you to deploy troops closer to the front. Select the local building. Left click on the flashing button to upgrade it. Only buildings in supplied sectors can be upgraded into a forward barracks. Now you can deploy infantry squads from this building in exactly the same way you do from a barracks. Now deploy a rifleman squad from your forward barracks. Rifle Excellent. Squad on point. Select your rifleman squad. Use the Rifleman Squad to capture the indicated strategic point. Oh, we'll take it, all right. Right element, moving up! 
Use the Rifleman Squad to capture the indicated strategic point. Point is ours. What say we lock it down? The flashing yellow indicators above your squad shows that they are being suppressed. While suppressed, your squads will dive to the ground and crawl to avoid being hit. Flashing red indicator shows your squad is now pinned. Pinned units are ineffective and will take heavy casualties unless you retreat. Left click the flashing retreat button on the taskbar. Retreat will break any suppression or pinning effects on your squads and give them a defensive bonus. Your squad is safe now but they took some casualties. You can reinforce squad members one member at a time. Select your rifleman squad. Click the flashing button to reinforce your squad back up to full strength. Squads can only reinforce if they are near a base structure, a forward barracks, or a half track. Notice you have earned experience. You gain experience by capturing territory, building structures, and fighting the enemy. Once you've gained enough experience, you're rewarded with a command point. You can use command points to unlock special abilities. To do this, left click on the flashing company commander button. There are three companies you can choose, infantry, airborne, and armor. Each has its own special abilities and unique units. For training, we'll choose the infantry company. However, during the game, you'll be able to pick the company that best fits your playstyle. Click on the Infantry Company icon to select it. Then, click the Accept button to confirm. Here are the special abilities available to you as an Infantry Company Commander. The Defensive Operations ability allows your rifleman to build defenses. Click on the Defensive Operations button. Then, click the Accept button to confirm your choice. The Germans will be counterattacking. We need to defend this area with sandbags. Select your rifleman squad. Left-click on the Build Field Defenses menu and select the Sandbags option. Left-click at the indicated location to start the wall. Now drag the mouse to the final location and left-click to order your rifleman to build the sandbags. Good. Your riflemen are now building the wall section by section. Sandbags provide heavy cover. You can move infantry behind this wall to give them cover against incoming fire. Construction detail. Our work is done here. Enemy unit down. Earn more command points. Left click on the company commander button. Left click on the flashing button to unlock a Devon. Use the artillery strike ability to defeat the German attack. Okay, take cover. is clear. Well done. During training, we covered how to establish your base, call in additional troops, capture territory, defend your front lines, and use company commander abilities to defeat the enemy. This completes base operations.